Students, question 176 reads, select the incorrect statement with respect to mutation theory. Mutation theory was given by Hugo de Vries. Let's read the statements given. This theory was proposed by Hugo de Vries. That's correct. Mutations are inheritable in nature. They are also right. Sometimes there are diseases in which mutations takes place and they are carried forward from generation to generation. They are slow and gradual changes that are always induced by pollution. Yes, they are slow, but this is not always the case. So this is incorrect. Mutations are the raw material of evolution. That is again correct. According to mutation theory, mutations are large discontinuous changes that can appear suddenly in any direction. Option three is incorrect here, which makes it our answer. Answer is three. Question number 177. Following are few plant forms, chlorophytes, trachyphytes, rhinia, conifers, xylophyton. What was the sequence of these plant forms through geological periods? This diagram is very well presented in NCRT and we need to know what came first and what is the sequence of evolution of these plant forms. Uh, if we look into the diagram, we see first chlorophytes were the first ones after which tracheophytes appeared, later rhinia type plants followed, after which we have xylophyton and later on we have uh, the other ferns, conifers and cycads. So the correct sequence here would be Chlorophytes, tracheophytes, rhinia, xylophyton, and then conifers, which is option number one here. Answer is option one. In which mechanism of reproductive isolation is the male of one species is unable to recognize the female of another species as a potential mate? Behavioral isolation mechanical isolation, hybrid inviability or hybrid breakdown. Right. Behavioral isolation is when the male of one species is unable to recognize the female as a potential mate. So that makes the correct answer. Wherein the mechanical isolation students, the structural differences in the genitalia of individuals belonging to different animal species interfere with the mating. But this is not what is asked. Hybrid inviability it means that the hybrid which are produced are inviable. Inviable means are not able to live a long life or able to live a healthy lifespan as a regular animal. The hybrid breakdown means when hybrids try to reproduce, the progeny which is produced by hybrids are not very sustainable, so which results in breakdown in near future. The correct option here is option 1. Answer is 1. Question number 179. Which of the following doesn't support embryological evidences in light of evolution? Let's go over them one by one. First one, similarity in early development of chordates. It talks about embryological evidences wherein It was also proposed by Ernest Haeckel and he made some observations that embryonic stage which is common to all vertebrates shows the presence of vestigial gill slits although it's only functional in fish and are not found in any adult vertebrates but he did see a striking resemblance in the early development or the embryos of chordates so this is correct Option number two, read retrogressive metamorphosis in herd mania. Retrogressive means which is opposite of progressive. It means in herd mania, the larval forms show more chordate like features. For example, there is presence of notochord in its tail but 
the adult forms are are less chordate like that's why it's called retrogressive this is also correct option number 3 ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny as seen during development of heart in invertebrates now ontogeny means which is development of embryo and phylogeny means ancestral sequence which suggest that when the embryo is developing it always goes through the stages of ancestors it always shows the sequence of development and shows ancestral traits so we can see that in a one chambered heart two chambered heart three chambered heart and so on so this is also correct option number 4 read restricted distribution of pouched mammals in australia this is an evidence of biogeography and is related to continental isolation that's why this is the odd man out here and it doesn't support embryological evidences directly so this is our answer the correct option here is option number 4 and coming to the last question students select the incorrect option with respect to natural selection industrial melanism yes it represents natural selection evolution of wild mustard this is an example of artificial selection students this is done to create better breeds so this is not a natural selection process herbicide resistance seen in present day weeds that's correct example of natural selection and drug resistance in microbes due to anthropogenic activity this is also correct so the right answer here would be option 2 because it is incorrect with respect to natural selection we have come to the end of this aits session students keep reading your ncrts and keep practicing i'm sure you will improve when you put in consistent hard work and efforts thank you Thank you.